Yellowstone has been rocked by thousands of earthquakes, and the reason why has finally been revealed. Over 2,007 earthquakes last year alone, although they were terribly under-reported, there are hundreds of earthquakes around the Yellowstone caldera every single day. Yellowstone supervolcano worrying swarm of earthquakes rocked the area and it has not been caused by magma, they say. Instead, it has been found that it has been caused by hot water, the water underground. This is what the United States Geological Survey has revealed. This is by Alice Scarzi of Express UK. The U.S. Scientific Agency who monitors, monitors the earthquakes made the shocking discovery as they were studying the swarm of tremors in Yellowstone National Park characterizing the summer of 2017. During that period, the edge of the park was hit by one of the most persistent earthquake swarms ever observed in that area. This is according to David Shelley. He's a seismologist at the USGS. Some 2,500 individual tremors had been registered in three months alone, with the biggest one reaching a magnitude 4.4 June 16th of 2017. This event was known as the 2017 Maple Creek Swarm. It has been driving the water. It was dry, driven by water rather than by magma, as it commonly happens. This is what was explained in the Yellowstone Caldera Chronicles. It's a weekly column written by scientists of the USGS and collaborators of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. Shelley said, although movements of magma can sometimes generate earthquake swarms at volcanoes, the patterns of this swarm, especially the rapid migration and lack of nearby surface deformation, so they didn't have deformation, as you can see, lack of deformation, instead suggests that water is diffusing through small cracks in the subsurface. Quote, the involvement of this water may be in part explained why these swarms are sometimes long-lived, why they expand dramatically over time, and why the fault structures are so complex. This also may explain why swarms are common in volcanic areas where water is a byproduct released from deeper magma as it cools down. You see, they keep coming with new revelations every so often and new explanations having to do with, for example, Yellowstone, which is one of the 20 supervolcanoes of the world. He says, we often see chemical evidence of this type of water at surface springs and fumaroles because this water is under great pressure in the deep crust where it's released. It tends to migrate upwards and sometimes laterally. When it interacts with cooler, more brittle rocks stressed by tectonic and volcanic processes, this water may trigger earthquakes. And he goes on to explain, in fact, earthquakes themselves may allow the fluid to migrate more efficiently through faults in the rocks. USGS scientists were able to come to this conclusion after studying the 2017 Maple Creek swarm with new advanced seismic technologies. And these allowed them to have more data than ever to detect and precisely locate earthquakes in the swarm which can provide evidence of the causes of these seismic earthquake swarms in the area. And during the study involving the earthquake swarm, USGS scientists compared the waveforms of the thousands of recorded earthquakes rather than studying them individually. And this allowed them to locate with more precision the locations of the earthquakes. Shelley added, this technique allows them to locate those small earthquakes that would have otherwise not been located if studied individually. The supervolcano of Yellowstone last erupted, as we know, 664,000 years ago, but scientists still monitor it closely because the, its eruption would spark a worldwide catastrophe. A paper published four years ago in the scientific journal Geochemistry Geophysics, Geosystems, 
claimed the volcano would eject at least 240 cubic miles of material. Then, pyroclastic flows would hurl volcanic ash miles into the air, dispersing it across the whole of the United States. There wouldn't be an area that was safe, that would be safe. The paper added that the northern Rockies would likely be buried by three feet of volcanic ash, while states including Wyoming, Idaho, Colorado, Montana, and Utah would be covered. Millions of people would lose their lives with this, together with plants and animals, and massive destruction to infrastructure would have taken place. Shelley offered some reassurance, saying, Earthquake swarms like this are business as usual for the Yellowstone supervolcano caldera. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.